in different ways. Um, first of all, we have a joint challenge and a joint assignment to reduce the emission of climate uh, change causing uh, gases, greenhouse gases, and in that we have to collaborate together. And it's not only a collaboration between countries, but it's also a collaboration between different segments of society. It's public-private collaboration. And the Netherlands is mainly focusing on promoting public-private cooperation in order to turn energy, uh, electricity generation, into something which is not contribution to pollution. So we focus on enhancing the use of renewable energy like uh, hydropower, like uh, solar, like wind, in order to generate electricity. And we try to promote also that in Ghana the energy mix, the amount, the uh, contribution of renewable energy in producing electricity is enhanced. Because at the moment it is only 30%, mainly hydropower. 70% of Ghana's electricity is generated by fossil fuels and the plea that I made this morning was to see if Ghana could change this energy mix and enhance the uh, contribution of renewable energies and that's mainly solar and wind in the electricity generation and the Netherlands would be very happy to uh, support that effort. The generation costs of um, electricity through solar and wind are coming very close to the cheapest form of fossil fuel that is being used. So that was the graph I showed in my presentation, that it is almost as cheap as uh, coal-generated electricity to use solar and wind power. Now how to make that available to the people, that is the big question. And I think that uh, all kind of social marketing schemes and financing schemes need to be uh, set up in order to make that happen. And that requires collaboration between public and private parties. And that is something that we want to promote. In that direction, does the Netherlands government have any financial package or something to support Ghana in that direction? We do have finance available, but not a package ready-made for this, so that needs to be developed. But uh, we stand ready to support. We have a speci special financing vehicle in the Netherlands called Investment International, and they have funding possibilities for these kind of packages. And next to that we also have FMO, which is the Development Bank of the Netherlands, and they also fund these kind of activities. Mm -hmm.